Session number three in Flash will be about copying and pasting frames. So let's take a look at the idea that we're going to work with today. I want everybody to work on creating a little animated movie of a figure jumping rope. Now once again you can tell that the, the, the artwork here isn't the point. This is not great artwork but the animation trick is the point. So I'm going to press enter on this and you'll see that I've got this figure jumping rope and the rope continues to revolve around the figure. Now um, the, I didn't even make my little stick figure jump up and down. You'll notice he just all that really happens is the rope moves, and that's okay if 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 you do it that way, that's all right. You might also notice some little imperfections in the body of the stick figure. Uh, once again, that's okay if that happens to you today. It doesn't matter that much. So uh, I'll, let's get to it. Let's show you what this is all about. No handout for this, so watch the movie more than once if you need to. I'm going to close this document right here, and I'm in Flash. I've already started Flash middle column create new action script 3.0 that'll make a new movie I'm going up to the top right I'm going to do a fit in window with the black arrows tool selected you could if you wish change the stage color I'm not even going to change the stage color I'm just going to leave it white but you could click there and change the stage color if you wanted to I'll come over here and get a paintbrush I'm going to use black paint I will I've got a pretty good size brush there so I'll just make my stick figure now I'm going to undo that because I'm noticing that I have object drawing turned on when I make that shape right there uh, there's that blue frame around there I don't really want object drawing turned on for this so I'm going to undo control Z and I'll touch the letter J on my keyboard to turn off object drawing alright now we go All right, like I said, nothing big about the artwork here. Now in frame one of the movie, I'm going to go ahead and change to a red paint color and I'm going to make my jump rope. Those are handles. And I'll start with the jump rope down. Now you could actually start with it up if you wanted to, but I'll just draw it down like that. Good enough. All right, now <clears throat> here's what this involves. I'm going to go ahead and add a frame. I'll press F6 to add a frame to the movie. And that moves me to frame number two of this movie. I want to take the black arrow and get rid of this jump rope. I just painted it on with a paintbrush and I used red paint. So I can use the black arrow tool to select it and just touch delete to get rid of it. I want you to notice something. Look how the, the paintbrush or the jump rope kind of chewed a little bit off of his hands. Because I'm going to repaint the jump rope back in there, I'm not going to worry about that a whole lot. All right, now I'll take the brush tool. I've got red paint and I'll kind of repaint these handles in here. And on this first part of the movie, I want the, the rope to look like it's going up behind the jumper. So I'm going to redraw the rope. I'm going to have it cross here behind him. And because I want it to look like it's going to go behind him, I'm going to skip over his body. See that? All right. Uh, you know, I didn't paint right through his body because I want to make it look like the jumper. It's all about illusion, you know, trying to make it look like the thing that you're trying to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and press F6 to add another frame. I'm in frame three. I'm going to take my black arrow and get rid of this part of the jump rope and this part of the jump rope. Just click and delete. Now I'll go back to the brush tool and at frame three I'm going to redraw this jump rope but it's going to be up higher. So again, the look that I'm going for here is that the rope is coming up behind the jumper. All right, let's move on. I'll press F6 and go to frame four, take my black arrow tool. By the way, keyboard shortcut for the black arrow tool is the letter V, V as in victory. All right, now, and letter B for brush. So I'll repaint the jump rope in here. That's a really crummy handle, but that's okay. And now the jump rope is going to go behind his head. So I want to come right over to the edge of his head and then... Now what I'm getting here, if I come down to the timeline and I drag this current time indicator, this red box, you see the kind of thing I'm getting here. Frame one, the rope is down. Frame two, it moves up a little bit. Frame three, it moves up a little higher. Frame four, up above his head or behind his head. All right, so let's move on. I'll press F6 and take my black arrow tool and delete these portions of the rope here and I'll take my brush tool 
draw back in my handles and I'm gonna go ahead and make the rope arcing up over his head this time all right there we go all right continuing the work I'll add another frame I'll press F6 to move to another frame I'll take my black arrow tool and I'll take that off I'll take my brush tool and now what's going to happen is the 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 rope's going to come dropping down in front of the, the the guy all right so I'm going to draw this arc across here but I want to go right, kind of like right through his face this time because the rope is dropping down in front of him now watch what's going to happen and this where this is where it does get into a little bit of extra work but not a lot I'm going to go ahead and add another frame I'll take my black arrow tool I'll get rid of the jump rope uh oh Houston we have a problem it cut right through his head when I deleted the jump rope it just cut right through his head there well I don't really want that so I'll take, get my brush tool and get some black paint and I'm just going to repair that and it, it isn't going to look perfect I can't repair it so it looks absolutely perfect but it's okay it'll be good enough it, it again it's all about illusion it's going to happen really fast anyway all right now I've got his head repaired so I'm going to redraw the jump rope again and the jump rope's going to come kind of cutting right through his midsection like that all right we continue on I press F6 to add a new frame I'm going to take the arrow tool and delete the jump rope again similar problem here in his midsection it cut right through there and left a gap so when I go back to my brush tool just for a moment I'm going to switch back to black paint and repair that now I'll go back and get my red paint and I will draw this rope in one more time and it's going to come down kind of cut and maybe right across his legs like that all right now what I, I what have I made eight frames you know it took me eight frames to to do what I wanted to do here frame one two oops two there's two three four five six seven eight all right now to create the illusion of jumper but here's your assignment you got to make your your jumper do 10 10 jumps 10 revolutions of the rope well okay so what I've got here right now is kind of one revolution of the rope all right it's eight frames it's less than a second obviously because it's 24 frames per second so it's way less than a second it's eight frames and it's one revolution of the rope so how do we do this well here comes the trick and this this is especially useful anytime that you have repeated motion in an animated movie if you have somebody who's going to jump up and down if you have I don't know a bird that's going to flap its wings over and over anything that is repeated motion this trick can be useful all right what I'm going to do is come down to the timeline and click and drag from frame number one up to frame number eight now that's got to be done in all one motion I'll do it again you can't click on frame one and then come back and drag frame one because that will actually move it on the timeline you don't want to do that you want to start with everything deselected down there and then click and drag all in one motion so you get them all highlighted then you can do a right click on here and just do copy frames I'm just going to copy the frames now this probably kind of makes sense what I'm going to do next here is click in the next empty frame of the movie right and in this case in my case it would be frame 9 and I would just do a right click on that empty frame and I'm going to paste those frames well if you look on the timeline now those eight frames that I copied a moment ago have now been pasted and what I've got is two two revolution I've got you know frame number one through eight and then frame number one through eight again and it kind of makes it look like it's pretty seamless it makes it look like it just keeps going and that's what I'm after I'm after the illusion of this rope continuing on and on and on and on all right so I've got two revolutions of the rope now I could continue doing this just click in the next empty frame whatever the next empty frame is you can see it on the timeline and do it then do a right click once you have it selected you just click it first then do a right click and then just do paste frames all right I keep doing that next empty frame right click paste frames now you want to save even a little more time you could do this I'm getting several revolutions of the rope all lined up here so what I could do now is go back to the beginning at frame one and click and drag over all of these and then do a right click and copy the frames 
And now I've got 32 frames worth of this. So if I click in the next empty frame and I do a right click paste frames, see I'm getting a bigger chunk at a time. Now I said your assignment is to make this jump roper jump at least 10 times. Well, that's not going to be hard, right? Just keep pacing the frames until, you know, I, I, I'm way over 10 now because if you think about it, I use about 8 frames for one revolution, and so 10 jumps would be like 80 frames. Yeah, well, I'm up to 128 or something like that. I don't know, 128. Um, so that's the trick. You know, you, you, you put a little time and effort into making one revolution of the rope. And then once you've animated that much, you can copy the frames and paste them, and you can wind up with a repeated motion kind of thing like this. All right, the row, and, and again, I didn't even make, you could make your stick figure kind of jump up and down as you do it. You, it would be possible to do that. I didn't even go to that much trouble on mine. I just made the rope move, and that's okay if you just make the rope move, it's fine. All right, so there it is, that's, that's the assignment. So now I would come up to the file menu and I'd have to do save as and I would go to my network drive, drive H, save it there. You could just call it jump rope. That would be a good name for it. Jump rope. And save it on drive H. And then once you're done uh, saving on drive H, drag it and drop it to drive L to turn it in. And voila, you have another assignment in the books. Nicely done. Adios for now.